Hey, welcome guys. In this video, we're we'll doing a review of the Logitech G502 Proteus Core Gaming Mouse. Now, this is a wired gaming mouse which uses a USB 6 foot cord and it does have a cable management Velcro that you can use to kind of wrap your wire around if you're transporting it anywhere. And notice that the USB wire, it kind of looks like a stringy type of material uh, which is used on the outer layer which looks and feels nice but there's a bit of a concern that it might kind of tear or scratch if it is pulled against a metal uh, edge anywhere on your desk or your computer for example. Now since this is a gaming mouse there are a lot of buttons but despite all that it is by far the most comfortable mouse I've ever used. It's extremely comfortable regardless of if you're a gamer or a casual computer user. Now the mouse alone weighs 121 grams and I have to say that your hand just kind of rests easily and naturally on the mouse which is one of the main reasons it's so comfortable. But in addition to that you'll notice here on the thumb rest is kind of rubberized. It's, uh, it provides an additional amount of gripping. That's the same case over on the right side of the mouse as well. Now this is strictly a right handed gaming mouse and despite all the complexity with all the additional gaming buttons it's still a fairly attractive one to look at. And for those of you that want to use it for casual use you won't be disturbed by all the additional buttons. Um, everything is placed in such a manner that if you want to use the gaming buttons, you can. If you don't want to, they will not bother you. The only light found on the mouse is the G logo at the top, which is a neon blue color. There's no custom RGB lighting. For those of you that have a need to increase the weight distribution of the mouse, you certainly do have that option available by simply turning the mouse over and remove that magnetic flap. You have some slots available for putting the weights in. Now don't be discouraged by how easy I was able to take off that bottom flap because it is magnetically sealed and it's pretty secure when it needs to be. But the way increments come in their own kind of specialized casing and they do look pretty nice and they do fit in rather easily within the mouse. Each increment of weight is available in 3.6 grams but unfortunately that's pretty much it. If you wanted true customization, well you can't because they're available in only 3.6 grams each. Whereas my Logitech gaming mouse from about 5-6 years ago had weight increments of say 1.4, 4.6. So my older mouse from Logitech had way more weight customization compared to this one. Despite there being no custom RGB lighting, Logitech has made up for it easily with its 11 programmable gaming buttons. As each one is placed a nice distance from one another so you won't accidentally click one by accident. Yes, you can even customize the left and right click buttons. And as for the scroll wheel, when shifting left or right or clicking down on the scroll wheel itself, you want to accidentally scroll the wheel if it's in notched scrolling mode. Now the most far in button which you would use with your index finger is a little bit difficult to reach as it's placed a little too far in. As for that notch scrolling I mentioned, it works great if you're using it in notch scrolling mode with button placements. And you do have the ability to change it from notch scrolling to smooth scrolling. That is what that one button behind the scroll wheel is designed solely for. It's its only purpose is to switch between notched and smooth scrolling mode. Now despite having 11 programmable buttons, some hardcore MMO users might want to look at a dedicated MMO mouse. But regardless of that, I personally play uh, MMO games like Knights of the Old Republic, first person shooters, I find that the 11 programmable buttons are more than adequate for my needs. Furthermore, the optical sensor at the bottom works great on a mouse pad, it's extremely accurate and it also works pretty well on wooden desk surfaces. Now switching gears over to the software, if you do have other Logitech gaming accessories, say for example with my keyboard, it shares the same software which you can choose between each accessory. Now in regards to the profiles, you can switch to having it on the mouse itself or a kind of a automatic detection to store on your computer. Now switching over to the mouse control, because I prefer to use the profiles on the mouse itself, there are three profiles available. I currently have a default setting, which I change nothing, and the secondary one is my MMO for Knights of the Old Republic, and maybe some FPS shooters if I feel like it. Now each profile also allows for DPI control, from 200 to a whopping 12,000. A lot of people might find the 12,000 overkill and unnecessary, however if you think about it with ultra widescreen monitors available and 4K monitors becoming more and more popular, this is actually just beneficial. If you don't need it, don't use it. And the third profile also allows for a G-Shift control which allows for an additional amount of key bindings available to you if you want to use it or not. Um, basically for what I've done, I've used that hard to click button as I mentioned, it's a little bit difficult to press as my switch profile button which will allow me to shift between profiles without having to open this software. To customize a button though, all you have to do is simply select on it and double click it. You have the ability to add some basic mouse commands, a keystroke, customize, or a kind of a multi-macro recording. 
Now switching over to the light controls, there's very minimal controls I mentioned. There's the G logo, which is a neon blue, as well as DPI shift. There's no additional colors available, unfortunately. From here though, what you can do is customize the brightness control level. You can activate a breathing type of effect, which basically pulsates the light. You can control the frequency to be uh, a lot faster or slower. And a DPI light mode, which you can turn the DPI mode uh, lighting on to remain on permanently. Or if it's turned off, it'll just activate temporarily when you press that particular button. There's also a light timer in which the lights will eventually turn off if you choose to activate that timer option. And of course, shifting over, you have the ability to customize the way the sensors work with your particular mouse pad. So they have a few that are preset for Logitech gaming mouse pads. I use my own custom one, which kind of uses a auto detection software, which makes you do like a figure eight really fast. I honestly noticed no difference when using this uh, auto detection mode. And shifting over lastly is kind of a key binding uh, or keystroke recording function if you will. And basically you can record what keys you press the most. All you do is basically press uh, play and use your mouse as you would if you're playing a game. And eventually when you're finally done you can click stop and it'll give you a recording of which key buttons you press the most which will kind of help you plan your macros and key bindings if you need to. Now I'm a huge fan of Logitech accessories like their computer speakers, keyboards and mice, but this review is still extremely unbiased as always. But I have to say that despite being a gaming mouse, Logitech has pulled off a feat that's very difficult to accomplish, is that this is great for gamers and for casual users. Now the mouse does look a little bit intimidating, but it shouldn't throw you off because using the mouse for a casual user or non-tech savvy person the buttons don't really get in your way, they don't really obstruct what you're trying to do. It's a very comfortable experience, it's actually one of the most comfortable mice I've ever used. But there are some silly little things that kind of threw it off from getting a perfect score. One of them is of course is the most bizarre thing I find is the strange amount of uh, weight increments you can increase it by. So some gamers like myself want to increase the weight of the mouse, have it a little bit heavier in the hand. Well, it's weird that my Logitech, I think it's the G5, gaming mouse from about 5-6 years ago had way more weights to increase it by and customizable weights that are in different increments, not all the same thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help, subscribe, and thanks for watching.